here we are, day three, uh, RYA Youth National Championships. Um, conditions today are forecast to be around uh, 7 to 10 knots from the east, so pretty similar to what we've had the previous days actually. Right now we've got a little bit more than that in the channel, so uh, 29s have had a fairly exciting launch just uh, going out real full speed down to their course area, so they've had quite an exciting start to the day. But um, got a few interesting bits happening today. Um, Four uh, 29ers and radials have uh, both done their splits to gold-silver, so competition's really hotting up now. We're getting towards the, the business end, if you like, of the week. Um, four races on the 29er schedule for today, uh, three races on every other course area, and a uh, little bit of a change for today. We've got uh, four 20s and catamarans also going outside to the north of Cumbrae, so uh, we're trying to find a, a sort of bit more breeze out there and a bigger area of water to allow them to stretch their legs a bit and get a bit of big course racing in. So really exciting day ahead and we're looking forward to seeing who ends out coming on top. Uh, now we're getting towards the end of, uh, end of proceedings. I'm um, really good. We've had a second and a first so far. We haven't really been having great starts, but there's been a nice bit of breeze coming down the left side of the course all day. And we've just been hooking into that and making big gains on our beats and runs. It's quite different. Uh, more competition in the race. A bit more challenging. Yeah, I think it's, it's almost harder to get get back from a bad position, but it's harder for everyone, so it kind of balances out. I'm starting to feel a bit anxious, yeah, but I guess it's kind of good to have a bit of anxiety, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, first race was really tricky. Um, found it know, before. Yeah. Pretty much. Found it before, stuck to our plans, but I mean, oh, the the race officer had a real tricky, real tricky time trying to decide what course we were on today. So we got off quite late, but stuck to our plans. Yeah. Just didn't feel quite right because we we're coming back in on a header, but there's quite lots of course skew for that. Big so course skew, but managed nice. to win the race, which was good. Um, stay in front of the guys who were uh, joint points with us this morning, so pulled a bit, pulled away a bit. Yeah, extend, extending throughout the race. I think it's going to be a tricky day. Um, I can see us hopefully getting two top two top threes, but I think just get counters today, and that's that's what everyone's pretty much aiming for in this tricky tricky conditions. Um, but that's pretty much it. We'll stick stay with the fleet, stay with the fleet, and just hope that we're in front at the end of it. Well, the very first race was eventually abandoned, so um, we were all sailing up winds. But the thing was, there were gusts coming from all directions, and there were such different variations in wind strength across the course. It became very, very hard to keep yourself on the favoured end of the course. So even if you did see a gust or something, it was very hard to get there because of the difference in wind speed. Um, and then there was a very, 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 very big um, left hand shift just toward the top. And so at that point, they, they uh, called the race off and we walked sail back downwind again. And then we started off another race. Wind played ball and um, very shifty. Got to keep your eyes out the boat. Um, and sometimes you'll see a shift and you, you can't get there anyway, but you've got to get as close as you can to it and then just minimise the losses. I mean, <laughs> I came here, I was terrified of what everybody said about largs. It's like, oh, 180 degree shift, plot luck, bring your lucky clover. But um, it's all right so far, fingers crossed, touch wood. It's really nice, it's got a really friendly top of the fleet. Um, and although it feels odd because the people who you're racing against, you spent the entire winter training against and getting closer to and getting really good friends and they've supported you through the winter. And it's so, you'd have thought that going into a competition it'd be really sort of awkward and a little bit of friction between people. But actually, it's exactly the same. It's, it's just, you're racing against your friends and everybody understands it's a competition and you might accidentally, well, on purpose, tack on the top of somebody, but everybody accepts that. So it's a really, really nice environment and I'm loving it. I think for a place like this, you have to adopt a never say die attitude. Um, whoever laughs last laughs the loudest. <laughs>